afternoon, my loves. So today I'm going to be vlogging. I am going to Louis Vuitton to check out the new collection, the By the Pool collection. I'm really excited about this. Looking at some of the pieces, yeah, there's some things that I really like. But anyway, I got a delivery and I quickly wanted to show you before I head in the car and then I'll chat to you when I'm in the car. But I just got a DHL delivery. I've got to show you this. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you. Okay, check this out. This is a brand new Louis Vuitton dress. It even came with the dust bag, the hanger. Look, the label, I can't believe it. And the only reason why I found this is through ShopTagger. You guys know I've worked with ShopTagger for four years. So no surprise there. But I actually got it from Vestier. And oh, I cannot believe the price I got for this. So usually this retails maybe about 3,000-ish. I ended up getting it for about $500 Australian. But yes, I will come back and try this for you, but we're in a rush, so I'm going. And this is my bag for today. I'm wearing my puppy on. Okay, so we're on our way. Let's have a little chat here because we've got time in the car. So as I was saying about ShopTagger, if you haven't heard of them, and thank you to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. I love working with them. I have literally saved thousands and thousands of dollars. But recently, the past year or so, I've also been using ShopTagger on pre-loved items. Yes, absolutely, you can save things from all your favorite retailers, but did you know look at it for pre-love stuff as well. For those of you that don't have it, I highly recommend it, it's free. All you need to do is you download the ShopTagger app, make sure you click the little blue button because it makes it so much easier to save things as you're browsing. I like to do it in Chrome, it's so much easier. And as you can see from my list, yeah, I've been using this for a long time. You can create lists, I've got bags, shoes, accessories as you can see, but let me show you an example. So I'm in Vestier, I am really looking at a lot of the ready to wear so I'm just going to save this Chanel cardigan I'm going to select to be notified whenever there is a price decrease and then save it to a list and then if you go back to my shop tag and you can see it's there and I love it because that's exactly how I got that blue dress often you find with a vestiaire and a lot of the sites like fashion file the real real what they'll do is that they'll list the product and if it hasn't sold they it will go on sale but then shop tagger lets me know about that so that is how i got the blue brand new louis vuitton dress for actually 357 usd so that is about 500 dollars because you do need to take into account you know the taxes and duties but under 500 dollars for a brand new dress i'm so excited but besides letting you know things go on sale or if they're out of stock or back in stock, my favorite, favorite feature has to be the coupon feature. So ShopTagger uses all this clever tech and basically it scans the web for the best code. So if you're at checkout, it automatically applies any coupon codes it knows of. So if you see here, I've just saved like 700 plus dollars. And recently ShopTag has also launched a new cashback feature. And so that means you can actually earn cash via PayPal when you shop via select retail partners, which I think is just fabulous because it saves you even more money. I always want to get my notifications on mobile and on email, but it's totally up to you. You can select that, but super easy. Make sure you click the link below, download ShopTag. It's going to save you so much money. Just check out the link below. Okay, so today it is all about Louis Vuitton. You guys love it when I go there and vlog. I think a lot of people are liking this by the pool collection. So just because I'm buying ready to wear pre-loved, that does not mean I'm not going to say no if I find a fabulous piece in the store. But it's good to know that you can actually pick up bargains, brand new or barely worn condition for like 70% of the price so that's just a tip for you guys but today I really want to go look at okay first of all the mini pochette my fabulous sales associate has saved one for me but I really want to look at some of the on the goes the on the goes feature really big in this collection not sure about all the clothes I'm really interested in the men's watercolor range I don't think that that's hit yet but anyway yeah I'm quite excited I love the ombre effect the pinks the blues the yellowish sort of color um, so I will vlog and I'll show you everything that's there so let's go we go to New Jersey your eyes I'll be worried you said it was nothing but I know you get buried the
Okay guys, so this is the on-the-go tote and this is in the MM size. How beautiful is this blue? Loving this blue color. What do you guys think? I'm not sure about the charm, but the blue, oh my gosh, you guys know blue is my favorite color. But it also comes in this, oh, it's flickering, this, look at the flicker. It comes in the cream coloring as well. And then I really like this Neo Noe BB in the Omcron. It is so cute. So they don't make the monogram in this size yet, but I reckon they will because it is so darn cute. Okay, so there's not that much stock. The Petite Sac Plat. These are new. Oh my goodness. Sorry about the flicker. It's fun. Oh, these are cute. I really like this blue. So the cup of scenes in a compact wallet. The puppy on? No, it doesn't come that Oh, how cute is that? This is surprising too, this little marshmallow cutie. The little hobo. What do you guys think of this? This comes in this color and the pink. Okay, so that is what the pink looks like. The caramel color, the little lanyard with the coin pouch, the little wristlet, little, that's so cute, super cute. You can wear that on your wrist and the little charm as well. So this is on the go in the PM, really, really cute size. It does come with a shoulder strap and this is 4,600 AUD. So that is what it looks like, worn on me. And then, if you guys were wondering about this one, does it have the price in here? Yes, this is 5,100, so in the MM size. And... Let's check this out, the BB, I think I said this before, I think it was 3,300 3, AUD. And I believe the Papillons are out 33 as well. And the Marshmallow, I'm not quite sure, let's see if we have a price on here. Sorry guys, no price, but I'll put it on screen. But I quite like it. Oh. Dom just has... Dom, do you want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> this is Dom. <laughs> so this is 3750. So the best feature I like about this marshmallow bag is the handle. I love that it's got this lock mechanism and they've used that there. Now I have to admit, one thing that does bug me is... See this? It is not aligned. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that but both sides are like that as well. But this one surprised me because I do like it better than I thought I would. What does this remind you of guys? The Epi Louis Prada <laughs> bag. Definitely giving me Prada vibes. So this is the toiletry pouch in the pink. Very cute, but I prefer the mini pochette. And then let's do a pan up here. So we've got the shoes going up to the LV dress. I like the Demi Azure coat actually, that looks really nice. And this is another look. Check this out. This is the Pochette Trio on front. This is pretty pricey, so 2460 Australian dollars. But you can use all three separately. So the pouch, the square pouch, and then the coin purse. So this is the little baby key charm. Super cute. You can just hang it 
on there as a little accessory. But honestly, you wouldn't be able to fit kind of anything in there. Yes, aesthetic wise, very cute. And then you've got this little wrist backpack. I don't even know what this is called, but I have seen people wear it. Definitely put AirPods, some coins, folded up cash. And what you're supposed to do is just sort of wear it like this, keys. Okay, I don't, totally can pull this off, but you know what I mean. I would like it as a little charm, that would be cute. And then you've got this lanyard as well in the beautiful blue gradient. I'm not sure on the price of this, guys. It doesn't say the price. So you've got that as well. Guys, I am trying on the new style. It is called the Rendezvous. What do we think? So it comes with this chain, which is very substantial. Love the knife edge with the LV logo there. And look at this lock. That's gorgeous. I do like that. That looks like. This looks really nice crossbody as well. Okay, showing you some of the shoes. I really do like these. I prefer them in the slightly higher heel. But here are some of the shoes. Not, not loving this one, to be honest. What else do we have? You've got the ombre, tie-dye. This is a bit too fluoro for me, but I am getting into sneakers. The ones with the canvas monogram. Oh, fuchsia pink for pink lovers out there. This is fun. I wish that came in the blue though. And then you've got the arch lights, which, yeah, just don't suit me <laughs> at all. Here we go. Here are some of the new collection. What do you think of this jacket? Let's have a look. So this is 6450. You've got the dress and the jacket. I could never pull off the shorts, but I do like this shirt. That looked really nice on. Okay, I really don't like this. This is just sort of plain. Okay, so I'm really liking this shirt. I've just put it over my floral organza top, so it might look a bit puffy, but it's definitely oversized because I'm wearing the 34, which is the smallest. But how cute is it? Look, with the cuffs up there, and then you could have it opened up like this. And then if you want to wear it loose, you can just have it opened up with some denim shorts and undo it. Or you could even have it, you know, tied up like that. That would be really cute as well. Yeah, I quite like it. Okay, so I have to show you this ostrich in tan. Beautiful. But it is pricey. It's about 18000 but not too bad considering... I think an Hermes one would be 30, around about. So that is what it looks like on me. Oh my gosh, my hair's so messy, okay. I don't know, ostrich and tan. I think ostrich looks the best in tan, in my opinion. Tan or certain pinks, reds, but this is a classic. So of course, we also need to check out the men's collection. This is some of their new watercolor. Now I've had to do a voiceover because I'm not sure what happened to my audio. So we are looking at, I believe this is called the Trio Messenger and the beautiful blue watercolor, a couple of the bum bags and yeah, more of their blue watercolor. 
and this is the Kipo Bandelier 50 and it's got the stripe pattern with the imperfect monogram and apparently it's inspired by the overalls traditionally worn by train engineers and railroad workers. I asked how Vivi liked it but he didn't. And here are just some of the SLGs and this is a new sort of necklace and bracelet. Okay, moving on, we've got more keepals here. This is a very special keepal. It's the keepal multi-pocket. And yeah, it's very pricey. Lots of compartments. I think it's like 12,700 uh, Australian dollars. And then here, I just wanted to look at some of the men's sneakers. So just showing you some of the new arrivals. Yeah, so they've got an array of colors, black and white. That isn't new. I have to fix up the shoes. I think it's just, you know, from all the past retail when I used to work in retail. So yeah, here's just a quick uh, run through for the shoes. Some of the new watercolors, some of the classics. I wanted Hubby to try some shoes, but nothing sort of tickled his fancy. And then looking at the ready to wear, this is, yeah, very colorful. Not my cup of tea, nor was it Hubby's cup of tea. I do, however, like the watercolor, the spring summer watercolor. I wish they did like a mini bandolier in the watercolor. That would have been really fun. But yeah, I do like the watercolor print in ready to wear. Not so much, but in the blue, it's definitely more wearable than in, you know, the rainbow colors. And so guys, I definitely did do quite a bit of damage, but a happy Mel. So there you have it guys. I actually quite like a lot of pieces from this collection, but a lot of it actually pre-sold out. I think it's just a very pretty collection. The beautiful pinks, blues, the even the neutrals with that sort of like beigey combo. So I actually quite liked it. Some of the ready to wear was good. Some of it was a bit too much. But if you liked coming along with me and shopping in LV, give this video a thumbs up. And remember, don't forget to download Shop Tagger. It's free. Besides buying new, buy pre loved as well because you can save so much. Like I saved thousands. And yes, and I'll put a clip right at the end here of me trying on my new pre loved LV dress. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day or night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So here we go, guys. This is the blue dress. A little bit tight it just fits but see how classic it is it's just a classic v and it just falls just above the knees and i've just put these shoes on with it because it's got a touch of bloom in there and yeah so this i've seen in lv before it's one of the classic styles i think it is three thousand something can't remember so yes 357 USD brand new with tags. So you can see up close, see the V, it's got detail through here and some paneling here. I haven't ironed it or anything, but I think it would look really nice with a belt, just nice flutter sleeves. So that is the dress that I got.